you will enjoy the rest of the day. Canada is the second largest in the world in the area after Russia occupying the northern two-fifths of the continent of North America. Canada is officially bilingual in English and French, reflecting the country's history as ground once contested by two of Europe's great powers. The word Canada is derived from the Horon Erebus Kanata, meaning a village or settlement. The national capital is Ottawa, Canada's fourth largest city. It lies some 250 miles or 400 kilometers northeast of Toronto, and 125 or 200 kilometers west of Montreal. Respectively, Canada's first and second city in terms of population, economic, cultural, and educational importance. The third largest city is Vancouver a center of trade with the Pacific Rim countries and the principal western gateway to Canada's developing interior. Other major metropolitan include Calgary, Edmonton, Alberta, Quebec City, Quebec, and Manipig, Manitoba. Canada's total land area includes thousands of adjacent islands, notably Newfoundland in the east in those of the Arctic Archipelago in the north. Canada is bounded by the Arctic Ocean to the north. Greenland, a self-governing part of the Danish Kingdom, to the northeast. The Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the 12 states of United States to the south. And the Pacific Ocean in the U.S. state of Alaska to the west. Surrounding the Canadian Shield are number of extensive lowlands underlain by sedimentary rocks, the Arctic lowlands to the north, the Great Lakes St. Lawrence lowlands to the south and the southeast, and the interior or western plains to the west. Tourists, did you know that Canada has a lot of tourist attraction? Canada's Parliament Hill isn't just home to the country's government, it's also a cultural and community hub whose activities are hosted in an incredible setting. You can do yoga on Parliament Hill. Every Wednesday at noon during the summer, hundreds of people flood the hill with mats and yoga leggings to stretch out in front of the iconic buildings. You can also take in the sounds and light show, which for 30 minutes projects a beautiful engaging story into the parliament building. Sitting on the shore of the Ottawa River, it's hard to miss the Canadian War Museum. The museum's distinct building is largely flat but shoots up to 25 meters into the air along one side, like a waving hand calling you over. Once inside, you'll walk through exhibitions that cover Canada's involvement in the conflict throughout history. A vast collection of tanks, military vehicles, and guns fill the walls, allowing you to see and explore the equipment used by the generations of brave men and women on the battlefield. The Canadian Museum of History is minutes away across the river in Gatchi, one of the country's oldest museums, dating back to 1856. It also happens in the most annual visitors. So, why do many people stop by? The museum's 4 million items trace the history of Canada and were starting 20,000 years ago. So, what is Ottawa known and famous for? Ottawa is known for its international music festival, it, its record-breaking ice skating rink, and its beautiful nature. Ottawa is also known for its bilingual character, politeness, internationally influenced scene, and hunger for beaver things. Locals will tell you that Ottawa is actually pronounced Ottawa. This is because the name actually comes from the indigenous group the Odawa or Odawi, which means traders. In the indigenous Algonquin language, the bands and tribes of Odawa people only occupied the land until the arrival of English and French colonists. Ottawa is known for having the world's largest outdoor ice cream, the 
major canal was built in the 19th century. Case, our boat with America. It is actually named Certain Like Appearance. Seen, since Rideau is French for 30. The Rideau Canal is 202 kilometers or 125 miles long and it is the oldest continuously working canal system in North America. UNESCO World Heritage Site leads the Okawa River, the St. Lawrence River in the 